My name's Kara, and I'm a designer, photographer, and author over at karaplitinich.com. Ready to get in designing? Let's get started. And I'm gonna open something called the Glyphs panel, and it's not under the window menu like you would think. It's actually found under the type menu, Glyphs. The Glyphs panel is just a, a way to see all of the characters that a particular font has, because you may not realize this, but some fonts have a whole lot more than just letters and punctuation that you might be used to. Some of them have all kinds of special hidden bonus goodies, so the Glyphs panel can help you find them. In this case, we are gonna be using a font called Blue Shift More. So I'm gonna type that in down here at the bottom of the Glyphs panel, and when I press Enter, it's gonna show me all the characters of that font here in the Glyphs panel. And this happens to be a Dingbat font, so it's all Dingbats. I can extend this panel so I can get a better look by dragging down here. If I wanna change the size of these so I can see better, these mountains either make your picture bigger or smaller, so you can zoom in or zoom out. What I wanna do is insert this right here, this little grassy drawing. So with my cursor active in the frame over here, I'm just gonna double click and it's gonna place that particular character. So this is just, this is a font now. It's, it's the same as if it was the letter Q or something, but instead of looking like a Q, it looks like grass. So same thing, let's go ahead and change the color. Go ahead and close the glyphs panel and we'll open up our swatches panel. We'll make that orange, I think, down here. Okay, and again, we'll scale it up, and the easiest way to do that is to drag that, and again, Command Shift. There we go. And actually, um, I don't wanna drag it quite that big, so what I'm gonna do is replicate it. So I'm gonna make one here, Let's tuck this box in a little bit. And I'll put that in position, maybe something like, like this. And then I'm just gonna duplicate it like we've done before by holding Alt or Option and adjusting it. I'll use my arrow keys to position it a little more precisely. And one more time over here. 